Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Magnolia, Texas. Magnolia is located northeast of Houston. And we are in, standing in front of 26307 Dobbin Huffsmith. That's 26307 Dobbin Huffsmith. This is a three bedroom, two bath, single story home, approximately 1,627 square feet. It was built in 1980 and it sits on a very large two acre lot. The home is also about $32,000 underneath the county appraisal and it is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. So there are a lot of good things going for this property. The exterior of the home is mostly brick. There is some wood siding around the top part of the kind of the roof accent here. And that does show evidence of a little bit of wood rot. So we probably want to have that addressed. You can see here this little beam that comes out more as a decorative accent of the roof it does show some wood rot. You probably also want to have it power washed because there is evidence of a little mold and mildew around the property. It also has original windows. So you might want to consider replacing those. It has a two car garage and it has a nice covered carport here. I will do my best to get you an aerial view of the lot, just kind of show you uh, the size and shape of the lot, but I always encourage people to get a land survey that'll show you the actual um, easements and dimensions of your property, where you can build and what other things might be uh, conveyed when you purchase this home. So let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard off of your dining room and we have a very small little covered patio here. It is going to need some repairs. It's a little bit dilapidated and there's some evidence of some wood rot. And then we step back into your pretty nicely wooded backyard. As I said, I highly encourage you to get a land survey so you can kind of see the boundaries of your lot. And I do like that the exterior is all brick. Now when I walked through, it felt like there was a little bit of foundation settling, so you might want to have that inspected, but all in all, really good opportunity here. Let's take a look at the inside of the home. Well, when we step into the home, we are immediately into a nice open floor plan. It looks like the previous owners really opened up a lot of walls and it looks like they were in the process of redoing the ceiling. So there's some sheetrock work that needs to be done. But first and foremost, I think I would have the foundation inspected. So when you walk in from the front door, you have this, I guess this would be considered your, your living room or your family room right up front here. You can see they have ceramic tile, but the ceiling will definitely need to be addressed. You can see some of the sheetrock is sagging in a, a few parts. Continuing in, we have an additional family room here, and this in turn opens up into your big kitchen. So I do kind of like that you have this really big open concept here. You have your kitchen, which has an electric range, lots of countertop space, lots of cabinet space, and you can see how this opens up into your dining room and then into your family room. To the left here is where we have your garage pretty standard two-car garage water heater in here you have access to getting outside and your washer and dryer connections are in here so if you were to come in from the garage you'd be in your kitchen your dining room and then your family room now one thing i do want to show you as i pan up here is you can kind of see where they didn't do the best job of lining up that sheet rock it still needs to be taped and floated i do like that it has a fireplace when you get to use a fireplace i think that's a pretty nice feature and we'll come down the hallway here and take a look at the additional bedrooms. Uh, to the right here, we have bedroom number one, which will need some sheetrock and ceiling work. It'll need some texturing, some painting, possibly change the windows and some flooring. Directly across from that bedroom, we have full bathroom number one, which is a single vanity. Your commode here, and it is a shower only. Looks like they converted that tub shower combo into a standalone shower only. There's a little recess nook here. Continuing down the hallway and to the right here, we have bedroom number two, which will need a fresh coat of paint. It'll need some uh, foundation work, obviously. And then we come over and there's an interesting setup about this bedroom. You do have kind of a Jack and Jill setup here, which is the vanity in this bedroom. And then right behind or directly across from that vanity, you have a closet. There's also a secondary closet out here, as you can see continue down the hallway here and we have bedroom number three at the end of the hall here 
And then this bedroom also shares that Jack and Jill style setup where you have your vanity in the bathroom here. But this also has the shower and commode in here. So this is probably really your master bedroom. And for whatever reason, they opened up that wall there, put a vanity in for that bathroom. And then they also give that bathroom access into the shower here. So it's kind of a unique setup. The home will definitely need some work, but I like that it's uh, about $30,000 underneath the county appraisal. And I like that it's eligible for the $100 down payment incentive. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 26307 Dobbin Huffsmith. That's 26307 Dobbin Huffsmith up in Magnolia, Texas. A very nice three bedroom, two bath, single story home sits on a large two acre lot. It's going to need some work, but it is about $32,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive, and it's listed right now for only $164,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.